face. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of How To Factions. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Schematica. So I hope you guys enjoy. And before we get started and straight into it, I just wanted to say uh, Frontier Network, my server, is nearly done. We've got a lot of cool things planned, a lot of cool things coming. Uh, we've done our Bycraft, we've done um, a bunch of things on the server. Um, there's Elsa over there. We've done our holograms. Um, we've done a bunch of plugins and stuff like that. So I'm not going to talk about it in this video because it's a tutorial, but um, let's get into the tutorial and let's go. So first of all, you want to go ahead and you're going to want to make... Well, you're going to want to download Forge. Uh, this depends on what version of Minecraft you're wanting to use. I currently use 1.8, so I'm going to go ahead and download 1.8. So we go Files, Forge, let's wait for this to load. My amazing Australian internet is just on point right now. So I just click 1.8, come on, load. Sorry about this, guys. And then you just go download latest. Installer, wait for that to stupid add, gotta love them, gotta wait for the countdown. One that's in the countdown is done, you download it, you install it. However, I've already got it installed, so I'm just gonna show you guys here. You download it, like so. That is my uh, console client there that I just downloaded. Not a hack client, if you're thinking. <laughs> oh god. Okay, it's gonna take like a minute or two, so. I'm going to skip forward to, actually I'm going to just completely delete, actually no, I'm going to wait until it's done so I can show you guys to do so. I'll be back in a second, when it's done, be right back. Okay, I'm back. So while it's the last few seconds uh, of the Forge is downloading, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where to go. So just type in Schematica mod. Um, hold on, actually, that one can't, oh, it still came up. So actually, is that the right website? That should be the right website. You should find it. I should have links down below in the description for all the different websites and stuff like that. Uh, so look for them there, because um, I think they should be there. Yeah, I think this is it. So. We're going to go ahead and scroll all the way down and it should be install forge blah 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 blah. Okay, you need the Lunatrius core and you also need... Hold on, I'm just trying to find where the... There we go. So you also go click on that, you go to the mods, schematica.mods and then the Lunatrius core is right here. You click on that to download that and down like this while I show you guys how to install Forge. This version has no releases. What? What? What did you say? Okay, oh, 1.8, there we go. So I'm going to download the 1.8 version because I have 1.8 Forge. I'm also going to download the 1.8 Lunatrius core and just go like that um, and like that and bam. So now you've got the three mods that you need for it. Uh, you want to go ahead and install Forge first of all. Just wait for this to happen, wait for it to pop up. There we go. So pretty much you just click install client, it'll be like blah 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 installed successfully. So once you've done that, you want to go to your percent up data. So you just want to go run, percent up data, percent, go to roaming. Now you want to go to Minecraft and you should see a little mods folder. If there isn't a mods folder, you want to go ahead and make a mods folder just like this. Uh, just make a new folder 
and of course it won't have all the mods like this like I do right now but um yeah you'll eventually put them in as you find different mods that you like etc like Schematica so once you've done that you just want to go ahead and drag and drop Linear Trius Core and Schematica into the mods folder and then you want to go ahead and launch your game so once you've launched your game with Forge pretty much you're good to go um, you can use Schematica like this like um, I'll show you the temple this is the temple thing that we're using on the server um, it's pretty smexy I'll show you the freaking 231 shot this is a 231 shot and pretty much you can learn how to build different cannons and stuff and um, I'll show you the timings and everything you can also use the printer feature uh, which pretty much just starts auto building it for you however you have to move your mouse and have your blocks in your inventory slash hotbar so it's a pretty cool mod I really do love it it's uh, really I, I would be screwed without it because it's pretty much the only reason I can cannon um, that and I have learnt how to like deal with certain things and how to do stuff when something goes wrong etc like that so Hope you guys enjoyed this small little tutorial, leave some comments down below some, for some more tutorials, and if we go for 100 likes this episode, that would be freaking amazing, and stay tuned for Frontier Network Server coming soon, the trailer should be out soon as well, and I should be doing an update video soon on the server, so stay tuned for that, peace and goodbye.